I'm now going to continue my coverage of the health care bill. We are still on page number 71. Qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer. For the purposes of this section in general, the term qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer means a health insurance issuer that is an organization that is organized under state law as a nonprofit member corporation. Substantially, all the activities of which consists of the issuance of qualified health plans in the individual and small group markets in each state in which. It is licensed to issue such plans and that meets the other requirements of this subsection. Certain organizations are, of course, prohibited. An organization shall not be treated as a qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer if the organization or a related entity or any predecessor of either was a health insurance issuer on July 16, 2009. So, if you were issuing health insurance um, on July July 16, 2009 or earlier, you can't qualify. The organization is sponsored by a state or local government, any political subdivision thereof, or any instrumentally any instrumentality of such government or political subdivision. So in other words, if you have a nonprofit health insurance issuing thing and it's being sponsored by the state or some um, political group like the Republicans, the Democrats, the Tea Party, you name it, then you're not qualified. Isn't that nice? Governance requirements. An organization shall not be treated as a qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer unless... The governance of the organization is subject to a majority vote of its members. Its governing, doc its governing documents incorporate ethics and conflict of interest standards protecting against insurance industry involvement and interference and as provided in regulations promulgated by the Secretary, the organization is required to operate with a strong consumer focus including time timeliness, Represent responsiveness and accountability to members. Wow! There's a mouthful. So, this nonprofit organization has to be subject to the votes of the majority of the members. And they have to have ethics, obviously, and they can't have any conflict of interests. So in other words, they have to have rules to keep conflict of interest from entering into the nonprofit organization. And they are to focus on the consumers. Because they're a nonprofit, they're not going to be focusing on profits for the end of the year. They're going to be focusing on helping the consumers. And they want to respond in a timely manner to the consumers. They want to respond um, in a manner that the consumers will understand and be able to respond back to. And they want to be accountable to the members of the nonprofit organization. So in other words, um, if they make a mistake, the members can decide what happens to them. Okay. Profits in your to benefit of members. An organization shall not be treated as a qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer unless any profits made by the organization are required to be used to lower premiums, to improve benefits, or for other programs intended to improve the quality of health care delivered to its members. So in other words, if this nonprofit health insurance company actually turns up a profit, all of that profit is to be turned into either lowering the premiums for their customers or improving the benefits to their customers or to develop programs that keep their customers healthier and healthier. Compliance with state insurance laws. An organization shall not be treated as a qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer unless the organization meets all the requirements that other issuers of qualified health insurance plans are required to meet in any state where the issuer 
offers a qualified health plan including solvency and licensure and requirements, rules on payments to providers and compliance with network adequacy rules, rate and form filing rules, any applicable state premium assessment, and any other state law described in section 1324B. In other words, not only do these non-for-profit uh, insurances have to comply with the federal government, but they also have to comply with the rules of the individual states also involved. Wow. Coordination with state insurance reforms and organizations shall not be treated as a qualified nonprofit health insurance issuer unless the organization does not offer a health plan in a state until that state has an effect or the secretary has implemented for the state the market reforms required by Part A of Title 27 of the Public Health Services Act as amended by subtitles A and C of this act. Okay, so, there are these market reforms, and it's not just that the market reforms are coming from the federal government, they're also coming from the state as well, and the non-for-profit health insurer, the, the, the people that's going to run this little organization, they have to comply both with the federal government uh, market reforms and with the state government market reforms. Wow. Wow. There you go. All right. Have I made your head spin yet? Well, we are now on page number 72 of the health care bill. I will continue reading this on another day. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.